I have the goldfish scale right placed on here. If you can see, uh, you're gonna see an amazing view through this eyepiece. Maybe you should zoom in. It is so cool. Can you guys see? This is 1200 times larger than the original size. I mean, that is very big. And you know, they have given us other empty slides. We can create slides by ourselves. And the lens are actually right here. Yeah, the filter changes. If you can see underneath, there's gonna be green, and then there's gonna be blue. For example, here, I have a 20 times larger eyepiece. It's called the eyepiece. And here, uh, if I want to see, this is the thir uh, 300 times. So how do I figure out how many times I'm seeing it to that? I multiply 20 by 300. And then I can figure out how much I look in. in the, this microscope can see into it a lot times bigger. Assalamu alaikum, dear viewer. Everybody is so scared about the unseen virus, which is called COVID-19. Today, I'm going to show you other unseen elements of the nano world using this microscopic view. Uh, my mom has bought me a 52-piece real-life microscope set. And using these, I can see a lot of cool things. Usually, if we see it in real life, it's really small. But then, when we use the microscope, we can see it really big. Now, I'm going to show you some things that I have seen. So this right here is a very small, very, very small pieces of apple. This is how you see it when you use the microscopic view. But they gave us slides and if you and if, if you actually see it, then it is this tiny. Can you see this? It is that tiny. But when we see it here, it is so big, mashallah, that we can see it really close up and we can understand. Yeah, this is a 20, uh, 1200 times larger picture with apple drop. And so this is an apple. And there is also onion bulb. See, this is how you, this is the picture of when you look it into the onion bulb. Actually, but actually, here is the original onion bulb when you don't look it through a microscope. You are seeing it a, a really uh, long. You are seeing it much longer. And I'm going to show you something else. This is the goldfish scale. This is actually how the goldfish, yeah, the skin, the scales. Actually, I have the goldfish scale right placed on here. If you can see, uh, you're gonna see an amazing view through this eyepiece. Maybe you should zoom in. It is so cool, can you guys see? This is 1200 times larger than the original size. I mean, that is very big. And you know, they have given us other empty slides. We can create slides by ourselves. So actually, you make your own slides because they gave you an empty slide. You take one of that and you take like a leaf or anything and you use uh, this slicer and you put it inside here and you turn this around. There's blades right here. And then it cut us into very small piece. Here, let me show you. Oh, um, okay. here is a very small piece of leaf. There, you, I, guess, I guess you can see that, right? And what you have to do is you have to put a very tiny amount of water droplet on there, and then you have to place you have to place the mount, it's called a mount, on top of that, and you have to stick it. If you think you put too much water, then press on one edge of the mount. After you make the slide, let me take this off, and let me show you how to put it. You take this and you're gonna see that there is going to be two clips right here. You put this, you put your slide right in the middle and this, the clip should be up and you should place that down. And you should make sure that uh, the light is actually reflecting on whatever you want to see. So here is the base of the microscope. Here you're gonna find light, a light right here. If you place it on top then it's gonna show the light, but if you place it down, then it's not gonna show the light. Here is a mirror, and actually, here is a, uh, here's a board. Here is the color palette, so you can you can change that. Yeah, I can also um 
change the lens because here you can like twist it and you can find 1200 times the focus here are focus stops there's gonna be one on this side and one on this side if you like uh twist it like that then you should and you should uh um, twist it we see objects like very big but what like the virus the bacteria and insects and other things sometimes they're very small atoms yeah and if we have to see them we have to use the microscope so we can learn new things and discover what the uh, invisible the invisible things look actually like actually the scientists ask they they write down their question like uh like they write down their question and then they write down their hypothesis hypothesis actually means what they are actually thinking so oh this is going to happen or this is going to happen they write it down and then they're gonna do an experiment and they, like, they write down what they need to do the experiment and then they do the experiment and whatever came out in the experiment they draw a diagram or a picture that is basically what i drew right here see this is the diagram this is the picture and then after that they write down what actually happened if we can see into the virus because it's invisible but the this microscope can see into it a lot times bigger if we can see then it'd be easier to create a vaccine of how to kill that little uh, bacteria the virus and um bye